Welcome back for another workout. My name is Joanna Rabin and I post follow along workout videos every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. I would love to have you stick around because we're having a lot of fun building a little community, getting some good workouts in at home, all that jazz. So today, you guys have told me a lot that your favorite videos are the ones that stay on the ground. And I'm here to deliver. We have like a pretty hardcore Pilates floor bar, mostly legs and abs, gonna go down, no equipment. Can you believe it? What's going on? You're gonna love it. I just already know. So we're gonna lay down. I want you to lay on your right side. We're starting with our left leg. Just because in most classes we start with our right leg and I figure what might as well confuse you right off the bat. So I want you to extend your legs all the way down. We're gonna do a little stretching in our warm up, but also get started right away. Head in hand, give me a nice brisk passe right out of the gate. Top hand is stabilizing. Everything's feeling wonderful. You're pointing your toe and rotating the leg to come into a nice externally rotated posse, right at the knee or above the knee. This is gonna help up warm up the hip joint, squeeze the glutes, get them activated a little bit. Two more. You're gonna take that top foot and set it down. Give me a nice little pulse through that bottom leg. So we're not reaching like full fatigue on any of these first movements. We're just kind of getting the body moving a little bit so that we can stretch because we're going to be flinging our legs all over the place and I don't want you to hurt yourself. <sighs> okay, little triplet right away from the bottom. Two, three. You're already like, okay, how am I going to get, how high am I going to get my leg once we get to our long inner thigh set? We're just taking a little preview here. Two more. Uh, two, three. Good, back to those pulses, you just have a few, and then we're gonna go back to that passe position to stretch and open the inner thigh area. So set your bottom foot down, return to starting position, passe. Now you might need this bottom hand for a little balance support. Grab your knee and just pull it in a little bit. Give me a nice little stretch. You can circle the top ankle a few times as well. And then I want you to open your leg to the top, and this is gonna show if you have any dance experience. So if you're a ballerina, you probably want to take from the front and crank that leg for a little rotation. If you're like a competition dancer, aer aerial kind of person, maybe from the back of the leg, crank it a little more, you know, whatever feels good for your body. Passe, back down we go. I'm going to come back up to the elbow, back to those passes. Not the elbow, head and hand. That feels better. Take it up. Okay, so we're now going to do a little développé. Take it slow all the way up and down, take it slow. So we're thinking like quality of movement here. Two more slow, point the foot. Mine's gonna cramp here probably really soon. Good, a little faster. Take it up and down. You're trying to hit like a picture moment in your développé. I'm gonna take the head down just for comfort. Four more, extend. We're thinking length here. Stretch, two more, two, good. One, reverse, nice and slow. So this is an envelope. Passe and send the leg down. I'm gonna come back up. Woo. So a little bit of core control as you can, I'm sure, feel in your own body. All the way up, send it down. A little faster, up, send it down, up, send it down. So I am whacking my leg a little bit, that's fine. Up, send it down, two more, two. Now keep your leg straight just to grand ma. Side, down. Try to whack it a little bit, give me a little turnout. If you're getting stuck because your leg is turned in, you have to externally rotate in order to get the height. Two more, two, good, one. So back to the passe, I want you to cross that leg over. We're gonna get real good into our inner thighs, lift and hold. Here we go, little pulses, squeeze. So let's talk about our options with this top leg a little bit. I go to a demi-point position for my top leg just because I can't honestly really keep my foot flat. It's a lot of pressure in my knee. My hips just don't work like that. <sighs> Try to get that pulse like as high as you can. So mess around with this front foot, see what you like to do. Up and hold this time, up stay. A little down. Now the whole time, you're thinking like really, really awesome posture. Like you're zipped up, you're always checking down your body to make sure your leg is nicely aligned with the whole top of the body. Little pulses. Squeeze, squeeze. Now, I'm gonna switch up the head position occasionally. You can follow me or not. Back to that triplet. Remember we did this in our little warm up. Take it out, two, three. All right, little circles, they're slow. Take it up and around, up and around. 
like you're scraping the inside of a peanut butter jar a little faster, around, around. Don't displace the pelvis. Remember, a lot of floor bar, Pilates kind of movements are really great for the core. Reverse, slow, up and around. Oh, I'm starting to feel my inner thigh. Yep. All right, nice and quick. Keep your knees straight. Swish, swish. I'm feeling my abs a lot because I'm wanting to wiggle. Five, four. Now, isometric holds, to me, this is the hardest part. Lift and stay. Hold. Stay there. Do not drop your leg. Don't do it. Lift, hold. Higher every time. Look down your body. Long leg. Long sculpted muscles. Beautiful pointed feet. One more. Hold. From there, you're going to go up an inch, down an inch. Higher. Little down. Higher. Little down. Try not to roll back. You're trying to keep external rotation in your bottom leg. I see this a lot. Do you see my bottom foot? And that gets kind of a not good feeling place in your inner thigh. Pulse it out. Give me eight, seven. Now we're gonna finish with the even faster repetition of that count variation. 16 double time and we're done. 16, 15, 14, Woo! Can't speak English anymore. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. No rest, just a nice little transition to 45 degree knees, open and close. So we're giving the inner thigh a little time to simmer down. We're still laying down though, so no complaints. We're just chilling here on the floor. A good way to, I'd say, get a little deeper into a simple set of external rotation like this is to tuck your hips forward. So I want you to start playing with that as we're getting into this position. Two more, so I'm tucking, I'm like squeezing my butt forward. Little pulse to the top, squeeze, squeeze. For these next few sets, I want you to play with your foot position like I have my whole foot together. You can do a toe only, or you can even play with just the heel. That can feel pretty, pretty good. Press back and stay. Hold. Little down. Stay. <sighs> A moment for the upper body. Are your shoulders down? Is your core nice and tight? Triplet. One, two, three. Up, two, three. So we don't have a lot of resistance yet. We're building like the first layer. For me, this is not hard, right? This first set. But we're just putting in that layer so that the fatigue can creep in next. All right, little pulses. Eight. Seven, explore your range of motion. How's the health of your hip today? Three, two, knees together, toes high. We're gonna go right away to like a little bit bigger of a clam. At the studio I used to teach at, this is called Big Daddy Clam. I'm not sure who came up with that. This is where you wanna experiment. Do you like your toes together or your heels? For me, that position feels pretty different. So I like to switch it up now and again, just a little variety for yourself. All right, little pulses right here, a little squeeze, squeeze. Again, a little scoop through the belly is nice. Maybe you wanna change up your head position. <sighs> press and hold, press hold. This is fun, press hold. I just have to warn you, I'm pretty dang caffeinated today, so I don't accept any responsibility for the stories that we tell while we're here on the mat together. All right, little triplet, take it up. One, two, three. I'm gonna close all the way down, like smack my thighs together close. Bam, one, two, three, close them. They're smacking a little bit. How cute is this little unitard though? Did you know it was a unitard? Whew. All right, press it open. Eight, seven, six. Come up to your elbow again if you weren't all already there, up to your hand. We're gonna keep the knees down, point the toes, really direct both knees down, come up to your forearm. Press down a little bit. We're gonna start a little extension here. And I want you to think of like an old school deli meat slicer. Right, so both feet are up, especially your bottom toe, and you're squeezing and pressing into that top leg. And I'm just using my bottom shin as a guide. Press down. I'm trying to push my hips forward as I direct the leg back. Again, we're thinking length, lovely length here. Two more. All right, leave the leg back, drop the low foot, little pulse, squeeze. So I want you to listen to your body here. Like, I feel a little too internally rotated for my, my preference. So I'm gonna come up a little higher. I'm gonna bring my bottom leg a little farther forward. I'm gonna try to crank that leg a little bit higher. Full range if you can touch the floor. Lift, lower, lift. And some people in classes I've taught, they really like that bottom leg long, so that might be you as well. Try a few different things. It's good to find something that works for your body. All right, little pulse at the top. Squeeze, squeeze. If you're not sure if you're turned out to the appropriate amount, maybe flex your foot. If your toes are facing down, we don't love that, okay? We don't love that. Turn it out a little more. All right, back to those slow ones. Up, down. 
Right now I'm getting like a good sense of uh, my glutes. I feel it. Take it out and down. Three more. Three, two. Now we're effortlessly gonna float to a pretzel position. So pulse it out. That's how we're gonna get there. Point the toe. You're gonna bend the thigh and come all the way up to sit on that front leg. Take a second, set your back foot down and observe. You should be in a double attitude position. Shift your body all the way to the right. And we're gonna keep that back leg glued to the floor. Let me turn like this. We're just gonna start like an, a deeper external rotation here in the hip. We're in a different position with the, the femur into the hip joint. So this should feel a little bit different than that clamshell we just did. You can lean quite a lot or you can stay really upright. Just decide what, what feels good on your hip again. One word of caution, try not to lean back to get a bigger range of motion. You're gonna lose the purpose of the exercise. All right, stay up, a little pulse right here, squeeze. So I'm driving my hip, my back hip forward to really counteract that little lift. Now keep the knee up just a hair. I want you to shift your weight a little over, float the toe off, up an inch, up, a little down. This is insanely hard. If you're not used to this kind of movement, it's like, oh my gosh, what muscles are these? We don't use them a lot, and we wanna be a little careful with them. Little pulse, squeeze. If you're like, wow, I feel this all up the side, maybe even a little in my back, very normal. If it doesn't feel good, you can come down to your elbow. You might get a bigger range of motion with the leg. I like it to feel tough, though. All right, little triplet again. Take it up, two, three. This whole set can be really like tension inducing. So your job as we're just chilling, relaxing, working out here on the mat is to make this look as effortless as possible. I'm gonna turn and face you. We're gonna do a lift and a wrap. Lift, wrap your attitude behind you. And you're like, everything's fine. Try to drop your shoulders. I really hold my shin and push that other hand into the floor. Lift, cross, lift, cross. Okay, turn that little cross into a circle. Up and around, up and around. So you have this giant muscle kind of on the side back, like your, your flank area called your quadratus lumborum, your QL. And it's a really good core muscle, a little faster with that circle for me. Circle, circle. It's not the most comfortable to work, but when in your life are you able to isolate like that top side area? I wanna say muffin top, but I don't wanna say muffin top because that's not a positive word. Back to the lift and the lower. Lift, lower, lift. Okay, back to our pulse. We're already in a grand finale. We're gonna do a little internal and external rotation, and then we're into obliques, because that's a natural segue there. <sighs> knee and toe, knee, toe. My left arm is shaking here. Whew. I'm gonna have to come down maybe to the elbow for a second. Knee, toe, a little faster with that internal and external rotation. <sighs> you got eight more. I'm gonna see if I can sit back up for eight, seven, we're feigning ease here, everything's fine. Four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna stretch that so good in just a moment, but that moment is not now. So bring your legs forward, top leg is still on top, stay up on the elbow for me. Top arm is gonna reach over. We're gonna turn the hips back, and we're gonna lift to a little diamond position, top the toes, and then return to that like reach and stretch. Reach, toe, reach, Stretch. So you could be really extra with this if you want. You could be like, yes, reach, down, reach, stretch, reach. I mean, that's a little much, but we're just getting a little bit of movement there because we're going to focus here on that internal oblique. <sighs> okay, less twist. We're just going to go toes and then back down to the mat, <sighs> back to the floor. Now, I think of moving my legs with my pelvis which is really your lower abdominals, which is awesome. So I'm thinking about tucking the pelvic bowl. Good, three more. Three, two more. Two, we're gonna stay up here, hold. Little down, little up. Down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. So just a note, you're gonna be on your right cheek. And if you're back or side, it's gonna be confusing. A little faster, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, a moment to reset. We're back down, this bottom arm is gonna go straight out. Legs are straight, we're gonna do a single leg first. So the hips are gonna still roll back and then come back down to center. So I roll back, tap the toe, stack the hips, roll back. This might get your neck a little bit, I hear that from some people. You're welcome to take the hand behind the head. 
a little faster. Tap, down. So less rolling, you can still absolutely do it. If you don't want that extra step, just come straight down. Three, you know we're gonna do two legs, right? Yeah, slow first. Roll the hips back, up, two, down. Maybe a little fake smile. Ta-da, <laughs> down, <sighs> up. If you don't like that, feel free to go back to the single leg. Eight singles, here we go. Eight, down, seven, big old movement. Six, really push into your bottom, elbow, ah, four, three, good, keep going, keep going. Two, good, one. Now I want you to bend your knees again. Last thing, come back up. We're gonna take that arm to the shin and take a little sideways pulse. I like to get into this from the elbow and then ease down, squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm gonna rotate my palm to really find it. If you're a ballerina girl and you wanna turn out your leg, not the time. How high can you get? Eight, seven, six. Oh, I'm getting a nice little pinch here. Three, two, one, and release. Just a moment to relax the neck because if you're not used to that set, that can get you a little bit. Look right and left. We're gonna roll up to just the elbows for just a little moment here for the abs. Inhale, exhale, I want you to pull your abs back and down and release, exhale. Now we're gonna use that movement to lift the legs. One more breath. Exhale up for two, lift the legs. Drop them down gently, lift. Drop them down. If you're not in a good position with your shoulders, you're gonna be confused what we're doing. So try to walk your elbows as close to your hips as possible. A little faster, don't go all the way down. Halfway down. Halfway down. Good. Exhale. Four more. Four. We'll do a longer ab set at the very end. Two. Good. One little pulse to stay up with the legs. Eight. Seven. It's all right here through the center. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and release. So I promised you a really good stretch for this side. Swing, <clears throat> excuse me. Swing your legs around to the other side and all of that side body, internal obliques, external obliques, QL in the back, need a stretch. So reach up and then over towards your toes to your right. That should feel glorious. You can grab your other hand, but we're gonna hustle on through and get our other side here. So if you, have you seen what I've done? Nice. So I've done something intentional. I've sort of trapped you here. We did everything on one side, so you cannot leave the video now. If you do, you're gonna be really, really lopsided. So you have to stay now. Come all the way down. Remember this, long legs. We're turned out a little bit to get that top leg going. Turn out, back to the floor. We're gonna take some time, even though I'm already a little sweaty, a little warm, we're gonna take a moment to stretch out this other leg. Rotate, come down, rotate. Take a nice breath. It should feel nice to elongate the body again. Two more, two, good. Take that top foot, take it down, little pulse with the bottom foot. Good, this actually is a natural stretch of sorts because that leg is really long underneath. And since it's pulling towards the midline, you're getting a little bit of stretch across that bottom side. Up, up, oh, a few triplets right here. Take it up, two, three. Feel your core tightening in a little bit longer, your shoulders dropping down. One of my favorite things about floor bar and Pilates kind of stuff on the floor, back to your pulse, is that it's just, very lengthening feeling. Like you can really work and really get a burn, but I don't know, it's just elegant, feels good. You can do it even when you're tired. All right, three more. I think I did a few more on this side. You're welcome. Take it back to a passe. We're gonna take that stretch now. So maybe you wanna take your bottom hand down to the floor, hold that knee in, a little circle with the ankle. And you can choose how you wanna grab your foot here. Maybe from the front, maybe from the back. Oh, hello, my hammies are real tight and I'm feeling it here. So you can turn out or you can grab behind. This feels like a competition stretch to me. All right, a passe, a beautiful passe. Back down, come back up to the head and hand, passe. Up, 
down. We're feeling fresh. Ready to go on the other side. Oh, and down. Okay, I have a creepy story to tell you. I don't know if this is positive or not, but oh, I don't want to do that. And we're back down to the base. A beautiful passe. Slide down, come back up, head in hand, back to those passes. Nice and fresh. Take it up and down. So drop your shoulders. I, this is such an old ballet term. Damn it. Take a beautiful passe, head back in the hand, starting fresh. Just those nice brisk passes, up, down. So turning out, knee goes to the ceiling and you should feel like your hip just like goes into place exactly where it should be, bam. Take that passe right to the knee or right above it. I definitely squeeze my bottom supporting side glute as well. All right, here we go, développé, passe. Long and lower to stretch, pause it. Oh, I wish there was a way to share photos on here because I know some of you are dancers, gymnasts, aerialists, a little faster. And I'm just I'm betting at home right now, you're like, your feet are pointed, you're getting a nice line. I wish I could see it. Four, down, three. Good, push your bottom leg into the floor. It's gonna help you with stability. Woo! Reverse, take it up slow. Passe, send it down. So right here, if you rotate, that's where it gets good. Let's go quick right away. Take it up, passe through, up, passe through. So I found a new coffee shop. It's local to Parker. So maybe I'll link them below if you live in Colorado or Parker, if you do. All right, Grand Bat Ma, up and down, rotate. And I swear they're doing something to their espresso. Have you ever had a coffee like that and you're like, I'm seeing colors. This is a good time. Up and down. That's what I just experienced this afternoon. Up, down. I feel like I need four more. Okay, this hip is a little more rusty than the other one. Needs a little help. Two, good. One, a beautiful passe again. Set that foot on the floor. I'm not even on my mat. All right, give me a nice little pulse. Settle in. Second side, in your brain, can it be better than the first side? The first side I'm sure was just awesome, because you're awesome. That's the kind of energy we're working with today. But second side, watch out, world. Okay, really an extra level of finesse and hard work. Triplet, up, two, three. So I'm keeping an eye on my leg down there. I want it to truly get higher. Remember the work that you put in is the work that, the benefit that you're gonna get back from this, even though I'm not there to see your work. Back to that pulse, squeeze, squeeze. Remember, rotate the bottom leg, please. Do that, it's gonna feel so much better on your hip. All right, we got a few little holds coming next. Lift, hold, lift, hold. All right. You're wanting to think length, pointed feet, woo! Good, four more, four holds. Little down, three, two more, two, Okay, now really hold this up an inch, down an inch from there. Higher, lower. So I gotta push my hand into the floor a little bit. This is where, honestly, if someone's not in a group class with me, I wanna just drop my leg. So it's up to you to try to dig in and push. All right, circle, front, back and around. Front, back and around. We're going the other way first this time. A little faster stability. Eight, seven, oh, I'm coming down six, five, Four, look at that beautiful leg underneath you. Reverse, circle, up and back. This is like your little knee bridge, so make sure your leg is staying under that little knee bridge. Around, a little faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back to that pulse. Oh my goodness. Press, press, press. Okay, eight more. Double time for 16, and we're into our clamshell. Deep, encouraging breaths. If you're not struggling, I'm impressed with you because I certainly am. Double tight, 16, 15. Nice and light, but really strong at the same time. Oh, I'm getting the shaky leg. 
three, two, one, and come down. Good, knees to 45 degrees, open and close. Now, my initial tendency is to like go crazy with the hips, so don't be like that. Don't do that. Squeeze your booty forward, squeeze, drop. Did I already talk about what I'm wearing? I can't remember, because I have caffeine brain right now. It's like, like a little chihuahua. Okay, keep doing your clamshell, I just wanna show you the back of it. What? She's cute. I haven't worn, worn one of these since like dance days. So it's been a while. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I had an aerial little onesie that was like that. Little pulses, take it up. But I was surprised. I'll link this below. I just, right now, I make very, very, like very little money on YouTube. So I have to buy like cheaper stuff, you know? But it's okay, triplet, one, two, three. So, you know, I don't know, maybe you don't have millions of dollars to spend on cute workout wear. And I'm always excited when I find something I like that isn't just absolute trash, poorly made, Amazon style. All right, back to singles. Open, close. If you haven't really yet, maybe close your eyes and really connect. Last one, knees down, toes up. Don't miss a beat. Open, close. Oh, I'm off my beat. Hold on, open, close. Open. Now here's where you can really pick toes or heels just like the other side. Watch and self-correct that you're not going crazy with the top hand. Open, close. I'm gonna come down, head and hands. So yeah, highly recommend this one. I just wish all shorts were like three inches longer because they ride, they just ride up. That's the nature of sweaty shorts. A little faster, pulse, pulse. So these are super cute. I don't know if I'd wear them out and about because whoop, as I move around, they just crawl a little bit higher. I don't know. I just don't love the booty, 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 booty short look. That's just me. Knees down, triplet from the base. One, two, three. This one's big. Two, three. But still, it's cute. I would definitely wear it around the house. These are trendy right now. And I've always wondered if it was flattering or not. I think this one's pretty flattering. I like the back a lot. I need four more. My cheek isn't crying yet. <sighs> two more. Uh, two, three. All right, a few little pulses. Give me eight. Eight, seven. We're going to sneak back up, head in hand. And we're going to the meat slicer, the deli meat slicer. So knees together all the way up to the elbow. Send it back. Bring it in. Oh, I did not follow my bottom shin at all. It's cute. If you have a lot of lotion on your legs, then you can be like, ooh, just like a slippery dolphin. Out. A little faster, here we go, squeeze. So again, I, know, I feel like I say, say a lot of the same cues, but this is a pointless exercise if you are not squeezing your top hip forward. If you are, then you're getting all this good squeeze, all this effective resistance in your body. Hold out, find that little pulse. So I'm gonna drop the bottom leg. I'm gonna adjust a little bit, and I'm gonna really turn out, externally rotate that back leg. If you're a dancer, you're thinking, a narrow mask. Cross it to your opposite shoulder, all the way to lift and tap to the floor. Lift, tap to the floor, lift, tap. So I'm also wondering at home like what you're wearing because whenever I feel like doing a video like this, I'm for sure in my sweatpants or like my underwear, just wearing something really questionable. A little faster, squeeze. Because that's always when I'm in the mood to like not get off the floor. I'm like, I wanna work out. I wanna like strengthen a little bit, but can't be bothered to put on a full outfit and shoes, you know? So I'm curious what you're wearing. Triplet again, one, two, three. Are we sick of the triplet yet? I just love it, because it's like, oh, I'm lifting my leg, but now it's even more. More contraction in the butt. Ah, oh, two, three, two more. Two, two, three. Okay, we're back to that little pulse. This is where we transition to a bent leg. You're gonna come all the way up to the hand. Make sure that it's a double attitude position. <sighs> You ready to, to, to transition? Knee down, come up a little higher, open, open, close, squeeze. Now, this is a small change, but instead of lifting your knee, think just about pushing into your back foot. I love little, little changes on movement like that. Like that gets mm, such a better squeeze and contraction for me. Squeeze, good, a little faster, squeeze, squeeze. I'm feeling in the need for some story time, so let's have some chat here in a second. Shift your weight to the side. We're gonna pick up that whole leg. And this side is surprisingly easier on me. You might find that you have one side that's pretty substantially different. That's super normal. I just saw a, saw a bird like dive bombing outside the window. 
Are you okay? Little birdie? A little faster. Squeeze. Squeeze. So let's make our first conversation topic about you, and then I have a story to tell you about me. One lift and one cross right here. Take a lift, cross, lift. So I was talking about this with my two of my sister, sister-in-laws, sisters-in-law, and it's kind of a hard question to answer because I think as women we struggle with like self-deprecation. Little circle up and around. I would love for you, you don't have to comment, but extra credit if you wanna comment this. A little faster with your circle. What is your favorite body part about yourself? Okay, and think about it. Okay, let, it, let that sink in for a second. Eight more, you're like, oh great, I don't know. Nothing, but that's not true. Okay, knee and toe, here we go. Internal, external. See, look at me, I don't even have to go down to my elbow, but do it if you need it. This side is a lot stronger. All right, a few more slow. So it's a hard question to answer because that means you have to give yourself a compliment. And that's why I think it's really interesting. A little faster, knee, toe, knee, toe. So just notice, first off, if that's really hard for you to answer and your, your just default is like, well, I don't like anything about myself. I don't know. Because that's not very nice. Two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna get into our obliques and then we're gonna keep going with this. So we are on our elbow. We are at 45 degrees, arm overhead, we're turning up. Roll your top hip back and massage that left booty cheek. If you're sore there, it's, it's gonna be like a lot of squeeze. So I'll go first. Um, let's do a few more slow. And again, you can go fruity. Okay, I'm telling a story though, so don't get distracted, okay? A little faster. Um, I grew up in the ballet world, so my initial response would be like, nothing. I'm just stupid, like, I don't know. Nothing's good about me, but it'd be nice to have something good. All right, all the way up, halfway down, but I'm not acting like that anymore. So I would say that my upper body is my better feature. I tend to wear a lot of tank tops. Ever since I got slightly jacked from Ariel, I just started to embrace it, really liked my upper body. All right, a little faster, exhale. Please, knees, try to take that from your pelvis. So I would love it, my friends, if you could comment, let's do eight more, what your favorite part is, okay? Probably no one on YouTube knows who you are, so just do it for yourself. Okay, we're back down. We're coming a little lower with that arm out, that leg, that top leg, let's stretch both the legs, is gonna come up first. Up, two, down, two. And if you don't wanna comment, that's just, a little bit of self work for you to do. It is so cool though, if you get a group of ladies that are confident and they're like, yeah, you know what, I really love my neck. I know that I have a long neck. It's a really good feature. I try to feature it as much as I can in my dressing, a little faster, down and you're like, hell yeah, girl, you go. You know, everyone's like supportive and I don't know, I'm just trying to be a little more like that in my self talk. So I thought it would be a good subject to bring up. All right, both legs, up for two. Up, two, down, two, exhale, two, down, two, exhale. I'm debating if I wanna tell another story, can you tell? All right, a little faster, let's get through these eight first. Eight, down, seven, exhale, six. Bend the knees if you need to, or go back to a single leg. Four, down, otherwise fight through it. You can do it, you can do it. Two, one. Okay, here's our weird position. Come up a little bit to that elbow. Get that internal oblique contracting, and then you can lower it down. Little squeezes. Try to keep the neck out of it. It's slightly inevitable. 10, nine, eight, seven. All your focus is right here. That side body. Two, one, and release. Okay. Come up, let's finish with a good set of abs. Like cherry on top, nice little core work, and I'll tell my story, my other story here. Not that you care, but it's fun. So come back down to your elbows, that elbow position. We're gonna do a little more single leg stuff. Exhale, pull the pelvis back. Walk the elbows forward a little bit. And we're gonna start with our right leg. A little lift, lift, lower. And I wanna think of this more like a foot spring, spring down and you can really look at your lower abdominals pull them backwards 
I'm sliding my rib cage down as I'm springing the foot up. So everything's nice and tight and scooped. Good, you're gonna hold the upper leg there. Point your bottom foot, hold. Little rocking chair. So same thing, but you're pulling both knees in. What it's not is a lift of the hip flexors with your abs like that. That looks great. Lift, <laughs> lower, squeeze, lower. Four more, four. So my only story, I was, gosh, a lot of lead up and no deliverance, little pulses, is that I'm having like anxiety about winter. Anyone else? Four, three. We're gonna pull in and stretch the legs. Pull it in, in, stretch. So one's gonna go low, one's gonna go high. Pull, stretch, tilt the pelvis. I'm just like scared to be cold and sad and have it be dark. <laughs> okay, keep your legs straight. If you can, you're gonna close and open. So this is a little bit for legs, a little bit for that bottom inner thigh. So anyway, my, my plan is to get ahead of it by buying cute clothes. What do we think? Is that gonna work? Good. Hold the legs together, and we're gonna start a little changement. Come all the way down. Oh, that mic pack is in my spine. Keep going. Changement the legs. Cross, cross. You can take your hands under your hips for a little more support. Squeeze, squeeze. Little triplet, really cross up through the inner thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, hold. Squeeze, squeeze. It's like you got a piece of gum right in between your inner thighs. Oh, that's a terrible visual. But squeeze it, squeeze it. And two, three. We're gonna go in, in, and open. Ready? In, in, open. In, in, open. Oh, I'm whacking the weights. In, in, open. That's dicey. In, in, open. Two more. Remember, we gotta do the other leg. So just shunge ma, cross, cross. Cross. Sink your low abs. Eight more. Eight, six, three, two, one. So let's chit chat a little bit about clothes, especially winter clothes, because I hate everything about the winter. Everything. It's sad and dark and cold. I don't like to be cold. I don't like the clothes. I don't want. I don't like you have how you have to buy expensive things. At least I feel like that. Tuck the pelvis. March that left foot. Down. And there's so many clothes. Like I live in Colorado and it's freaking cold when it gets cold and you have to wear like an undershirt and then like a turtleneck and then a sweater and then a coat. And it's just so many things I get overwhelmed. I don't know. I'm not a winter dresser. Little pulse right here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Remember that bottom foot is gonna point. Try to open the chest, hold the top leg, point the bottom foot. So this movement comes from your pelvis. Pull and release. So I'm gonna go thrift store shopping after this. This is the day, this is Wednesday when I'm filming. My mom has my girlies, which, oh my gosh, is like glorious. Stretch the legs, pull them in, stretch. As I'm pushing my legs out, I'm really sinking the belly button. If you have little kids, you know that that day that you get off, it's gold. Two more, two, hold. You're gonna take that bottom foot, little bottom up. Down. So I'm gonna go thrifting a little bit, see if I can find some boots or something. Good, four more. Four, down, three, down. Just a few long lever lowers to finish us out. Down we go, shunge ma, in, in, in. Think about crossing the thighs. We're just gonna take those legs parallel, down for two, up for two. Down, two, up, two. Yeah, I wonder what your favorite season is. I feel like you guys are just so cool already. I mean, I'm like the teeniest YouTuber of all time, but we're growing. Oh. All right, a little faster. It's gonna be small, a little down, a little up. I wish I could know you in real life. I bet you're awesome. A little down, a little up. So if you have any like, I don't know, Instagram accounts for me to follow for fall or winter fashion, I think I need help. <laughs> all right, set those feet down. Let's go nice and long for this one. Just shake out a little bit. Hands behind the head. This is our last thing, you guys. Exhale, curl up and stay. Think of this as your cool down. Close your eyes. Relax your legs. The tiniest little curl, upper abs. Take some nice deep breaths. Maybe pull up through your pelvic floor if you know how to connect down there. Down. 16 pulses and you are done with your workout. 16, 15, 14, 13, 10, 
nine. Because I was really caffeinated, I feel like we've been on a journey together. I'm like starting to come down from my caffeine high. Three, two, one, and release. I just feel so close to you right now, okay? Arch your body, your back a little bit. We're gonna stretch that other side, don't worry. So hug your knees together. <sighs> a nice little squeeze. What if you hugged your legs? Okay, like you were really hugging someone. Close your eyes. Like your legs have done a lot for you, so give them a nice hug. Like, I love you, legs. I love what you've done for me in my whole life. Oh my gosh, that almost makes me emotional because as a dancer, like my legs have done a lot for me. No. Uh, which way are our legs going? Our legs are going to your left. Up and over. We're just gonna take a nice moment. No extra stretching today if you need an extra stretch. Well then just click on one of my other videos. You know what to do. Grab that rest if you want. Whew. Cool, that's all I have. I hope you feel so good. And we never had to stand up. Secretly, like that's the best kind of workout, right? Have a wonderful day. I hope you pick something or next time you're in the mirror, you look at yourself and you're like, what is my favorite part about myself? Or like, think about how you dress. Like what would you show off? Is it your calves? Is it your, your decollete? Is it your back? You know, like, what is it? I'm really into like trying always forever to love myself more, even though I'm 36. Should I say that on the internet? Getting up there, but it's always, it's always a practice, isn't it? I don't think as girls, we're just like born naturally loving ourselves. I, I don't want to get on a tangent because I will, but I just think that's like such an attack on Women, I wear the most beautiful creatures ever. Like, beautiful. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I hope you feel long and lengthened, and I'll see you next time for another workout. Bye.